Dun 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 dun! Legs and abs! What's up, A Limited family? It's your girl Amber. Hence, A Limited. <laughs> I'm so cute. Anyway, we're gonna do legs and abs today. I'm excited about it. I'm exhausted already because I just got off of a 12 hour shift. <sighs> anyway, we are going to work our legs, glutes, and our core. Try to get rid of this tummy because I still have the mom bod. Even after five years, still have it. So I think we can get it. What do you think? Stick around and find out. All right, we're going to start off legs today. Grab your weights, whatever desired weight. I get 15s. Squats with cross lunges. You're going to squat down, come straight back up, cross that leg over, lunge. Same thing again. Make sure you squat in between the lunges. It's going to burn. I had to sing through all of this because I was about to die, of course. Going to show you a back angle of this as well. Make sure you bend your knees when you pick up your weights. Squat, cross, squat, cross. Make sure when you're doing your lunges as you cross, you keep your knee in line with your foot and don't let it go past your foot. And I mean as your knee going forward past your foot so we don't hurt or damage anything. Three sets of 15 to 20. I try to go 20, it's hard. This is a side angle of it. You're literally squatting and crossing, squatting and crossing. It's fun, but it does work that thigh area and the glute area. Next, we're going to do hip thrust with dumbbell. Get a desired weight. I always do about 20. You are going to lift your hips up off the ground. You want your back and your shoulders to stay flat as can be. And I say back, I mean your top half of your back, your shoulders to stay level with the ground, your feet flat. As you raise your hips up in the air, squeeze your glutes and hold it. And what that's going to do is just work the entire glute. We're going to do three sets of 20. I sped it up a little bit so you're not sitting here and watching me do squeezing my glutes and going really, really slow because I'm slow and controlled with it. My feet are flat. You want to make sure that's good as well. And you let your hips do the work. Your hands are just holding the weight so it doesn't roll down to your chest. And make sure you keep your core tight. That is the biggest thing. And squeeze your glutes. Next for legs, you're going to hip thrust with abduction. I would say to put a band around your legs if you want that full effect. For me, I did a lot of leg workout before I shot this video. So I'm just literally doing hip thrust. And then you're pushing your legs out to the side as you continue to keep your, your glutes tight. You want to squeeze your glutes and keep them straight up, core tight. And you'll get that full effect of the little meat and stuff on the side of your bottom. So make it nice and round like we all want as, as beautiful women. Three sets of 15 to 20. Core tight. Squeeze your glutes. Hips up. Keep your hips up high as you push apart your legs and feet flat on the ground you can do this it's hard but it's worth it next for legs I like to call it the duck walk you can call it what you want take your weights you're going to squat pulse and you're gonna shift squat pulse it kind of reminds me when I played basketball how a defensive slide you see I'm going backwards squat pulse squat pulse or bounce uh, they say pulse, but I say bounce because, hey, you're literally bouncing twice. You're working your thighs. You're working your glutes. Keep your core tight. It's hard, but it's well worth it. Just got to keep shifting. First round's okay. Second and third round, you're going to be hollering. Okay, weights on my shoulders. I'm going to show you the back angle of this. You're going to squat at an angle, pulse, pulse, bounce, 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 backwards, defensive slide, defensive slide is what I think of, which is silly, but three sets of 15 to 20, I always try to go max, you might as well push yourself, if you can't even do it with the weights, you can do it without the weights, it's totally up to you, 
whatever is more comfortable for you. But know that your mind tells you you can do a lot less than what you can actually do. Next for legs, resting deadlifts. Yes, this is my personal apartment gym, so of course other people are going to be in here. But you're going to keep knees bent, back straight, arms straight, hold the dumbbells, go all the way down as flexible your body can. You're going to come back up and you're going to squeeze your glutes tight. Yes, I sped this up, but you want to go slow and controlled. Keep your core tight, back straight. This is the back angle of it. Back shoulders back, core tight, back straight. Go down, up. Look how I squeeze my glutes. That's exactly what you need to do. And that's what will make it grow for sure. And you get rid of that fat underneath your butt too. So we're stubborn thigh, thigh fat areas, awful. Slow and controlled, slow and controlled. Three sets of 15 to 20. You got this. Make the last ones count. Now we're doing core. I call it rock the boat. People have whatever you want to call it. But for me, I call it rock the boat. What you're going to do is have your knees to your chest. You're going to extend your legs straight out like if you were going to do a leg raise. And you're going to go straight up, bend your knees, and push back out. What it's going to do is not only work that bottom area where we're trying to get rid of all that fat, but we're going to get the middle core too. And you're going to hold the medicine ball up in the air above your face or above your chest. So your core is constantly being engaged as you're doing the, the rock the boat, like I like to say. Make sure you stay slow and controlled because that's where you're really going to get it. If you get tired and you don't want to use the medicine ball, you're more than welcome to put the medicine ball down. For starters, put your hands by your side. Do the exact same thing. You'll feel it. Three sets of 15 to 20. Next, I call it walk it out planks. You're going to put your right arm down, left arm down, right arm push up, left arm push up. And you're going to repeat it. You want to keep your core tight, back straight as you can. Three sets of 15 to 20. It's going to engage all of your, your shoulders, your arms, your abs, everything and anything you're wanting to engage, slow and control. Now, if you need to modify this, you're more than welcome to get on your knees and do this. But this is the quick way that I'm going to show you how to do it because I was doing it so earlier to kind of give a demo. Next ab exercise, I'll call them the toe taps. I'm silly, they may call them something else, don't really care, I call them the toe taps. What it does, it gets that lower abdomen area that all us ladies trying to get rid of, quote unquote the fupa, helps out with that. We're going to do three sets of 20 on each leg. So you obviously think about it, which I hate to tell you, but you're technically doing 40 leg raises each time, but it's well worth it. I did that one a second time because I didn't do it correctly and I'm not going to cheat myself because I want that body. Next, we're going to do Spider-Man push-ups. These are interesting. They not only work your arms, and but they also engage your side muscles, which are called obliques. Get rid of those little rolly rolls. You see that I got the little rolly rolls still. As you're pushing up, you're going to bring your knee up to your elbow. So push up, knee up. Push up, knee up. At the same time. Push up, knee up. See, I'm already getting tired. This is the modified version. You're going to get on your knees. You're going to do a push up like you would if you're doing push ups on your knees. And you're bringing your knee still to your elbow. What it's doing, you're still getting the same amount of benefits as anybody else would with their feet. But you're engaging your core, your arms, your chest. You're getting a little bit of everything. So I love it. Three sets of 15 to 20. A-Limit is my brand. Push yourself past the limit. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook.